Okay, here we are back with the Spanish player turn of the first game turn. Um, he has three artillery units. Let's see. First is disruption removal phase. There's no disrupted units to remove disruption from, so we're going to go to the artillery phase. He has three artillery units. We'll just start the one over here. <clears throat> And we will go ahead and target this unit. It's greater than six hexes away, so we're still going to require still going to require a die roll of a one. There are no modifiers for artillery fire that I know of. We roll a four, so no effect. Next unit we have. Is this artillery piece here, this battery? I think we're going to I think we'll just shoot straight ahead at this unit here with the leader. Once again, need a one. Aha! Got a one. That's gonna be a disruption. Oops bouncing the camera everywhere so this 8-3 is flipped over now has a defense of 4 leader is unaffected um, but that means that that uh, particular unit will, a foot will not be able to uh, do anything uh, next until the next uh, disruption removal phase not that it has any effect on it at the moment, because uh, this player turns about over. And we have one final artillery piece. Battery up here. I just took it off, took it off, put it on top of the stack here so I don't forget about it. Uh, I think we'll just attack this leader and uh, the horse under him. Basically it's just a horse. So, I'm going to roll. Oh, roll the five, no effect. And that was what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven hexes away. So, no effect. Sorry about that, got interrupted by phone call. Imagine that. Nobody ever calls me. Um, let's see, the last artillery was a no effect. Basically, so that will take us to the Spanish player's movement phase. I've reconsidered showing every move. I don't think uh, it would prove anything to go ahead and show each and every individual piece being moved. I will show each and individual combat, though. Um, I'll just kind of give an overview of what I did as far as movement goes. Um, linear battles like this didn't allow for much in the way of man maneuvering, uh, especially once they got locked into combat. So, like I said, I'm not going to worry too much about that. Um, my last video was kind of choppy. Like I said, it's been over a year since I made a video, so it was kind of like learning how to do it all over again. Um, so hopefully um, they'll be a little bit better uh, from here on out but I'm not gonna make any promises um, these are kind of like little video diaries more than anything they're for my consumption more or less uh, primarily but if somebody else gets some kind of value out of them that's fine too okay let's see pretty sure we are going to move this wing of cavalry of Spanish horse and engage the French uh, cavalry wing over here on the left hand side. I think we can just almost reach it. I don't, okay, I don't think we can reach it on here. Two, three, four, five, six, but we'll be close. 
on the uh, Spanish left flank, they will be able to uh, engage the French horse. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So a few of them can anyway. Um, let's see here if I can get over here. They do have a couple of horse back here in reserve. And pretty much just like on the French side, everything is infantry in the middle, horse on the uh, flanks. So um, I'm going to go ahead and move the Spanish uh, players' units and we'll see what happens after that. Okay, this is a situation after the Spanish players' movement phase of game turn one. I decided to move his right wing of horse and advance them with to within uh, well, two to four hexes or so of the uh, French cavalry. Um, they're just going to kind of see what the French do on the next turn and then uh, make their final decision. Chances are they're going to move up and engage but my guess is that the uh, French will beat them to that. Beat them to the punch so to speak. Over here moved up the Spanish left flank horse and we have a couple of engagements down here. I've left a big gap here um, since zone of controls do not stop movement, you know, I've got an opening here that the French player could exploit, but we'll see. He doesn't have much to exploit it with. He's got a few cav here left that haven't been moved, so I guess we can kind of wait and see. I'm going to continue to bombard a little bit more on both sides, and then we're going to probably move, move, uh, to engage in the push of the pike, so to speak. So let's go ahead and resolve combat here. Okay, let's see what uh, what, what 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 we can do here. Learn to speak eventually. Um, we have two Spanish units adjacent to two French units. So, combat is going to have to be resolved against, uh, you must attack every enemy unit adjacent to you in your zone of control. Disrupted units do not have zones of control, so they don't have to be uh, uh, attacked or anything. But in this case, that doesn't apply. So, it's going to be the Knight Spanish unit versus the two, I have no idea what the unit's name is. Uh, for a one-to-one -one attack, and up here it's going to be the four Spanish versus the French number one unit here, and that's going to be a one-to-two attack. So we'll resolve the one-to-one -one attack first, I guess. I don't see any any need not to. Train has no effect. There are no leaders involved. Yes, I did double check. Uh, my leaders in command control when I move and everybody has a leader adjacent to them or they are adjacent to a unit which is in command uh, of another unit. So anyway, point is we are at one to one and we are going to roll the die. I get a five at one to one. That looks to me like an AD, no wait, one to one, that's no, no it's a DX. Take your time here. Deep breath. Okay, a DX is a disruption exchange. All previously undisrupted defending units are disrupted. All previously disrupted defending units are eliminated. The attacking player must disrupt attacking units whose total combat or printed combat strength is at least equal to the uh, total printed strengths of all the defending units. Only units which participated in the particular attack in question may be so disrupted so it looks to me like it's going to be an equal uh, equal disruption so with that in mind we'll 
disrupt the defender. Bring his combat strength down to a 2. And we'll disrupt the attacker. And he also will be down to a combat strength of 2. They cannot attack, so it's basically just a defense. All right, let's do the one to two, three to four. Let's see how we fare here at one to two. See if I can read the right column this time with the die roll. Four at one to two, it looks like another disruption exchange. So I'm not sure who these favor. Help, there we go. So flip him over and then we'll flip the French looks to me like maybe the French player took uh, a little bit more a little got the worst of this fight because his strength his units were both fours and one of the Spanish players was a three so overall I think the Spanish player could be judged to have at least a uh, won a small victory there so anyway that's the only combats that i see so we will finish this up and we will go to turn two with the french players disruption uh removal phase so we'll see you there